What do you do if you're a lonely planet looking for a new companion? Well, you might use your gravity to catch yourself a tiny moon. That's what our Earth did with a small chunk of space rock. Scientists think the little satellite has been hanging around for a couple of years, but they only noticed it for the first time in mid-February. Two astronomers in Arizona spotted a white blur shooting across the night sky. They weren't sure what to make of it at first, because no known asteroid was traveling in that orbit. Scientists around the world sunk their teeth into solving the mystery of the unexpected guest, and they concluded that it's likely an asteroid. The car-sized rock, named 2020 CD3, has been swooping far outside the path of the actual moon in an oval-shaped orbit that takes about 47 days to complete. But Earth shouldn't get too used to its new mini-moon, and neither should we, because it's moving away from our planet as we speak, and only the largest telescopes can now spot it. Scientists say 2020 CD3 could be flung away from Earth as early as April. The asteroid is caught in the middle of a game of tug-of-war between the Earth's gravity and the real moon's gravity. Sounds like our true moon is a bit jealous, to be honest. Now, we get temporary mini-moons when asteroids circling the sun skate a little too close to Earth. The planet's gravity pulls them off their track just enough to make them fall into orbit. 2020 CD3 is the second unexpected asteroid that's been spotted circling Earth, but scientists think mini-moons may actually be very common, and Earth might have smaller asteroids in its orbit at any given time. But this slightly larger space rock is special, because it gives scientists a rare opportunity to study asteroids up close. We usually have to send a spacecraft out to study them as they orbit between Mars and Jupiter. Now it seems like we just met our newest mini-moon, and we already have to say farewell. But there's a good chance it won't be by forever. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory says there's a small chance 2020 CD3 will not only return, but that it will collide with Earth in the next 100 years and burn up in the atmosphere in a dark twist of fate for an object once forced into friendship with our planet. For Space TV News, I'm Cambry Caldwell.